Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Today I am going to be showing you how to change the brakes and rotors on the front of a 2003 Suzuki Grand Vitara XL7. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jack up the car and take off the tire. When you jack up the car Make sure you always use proper equipment and jack stands so you're safe. I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to get the car jacked up, and then we'll come back and get the tire removed. Alright, I am back. So, we have it jacked up and on jack stands. So next we're going to remove the lug nuts, they are 19 millimeter, and remove the tire. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back after I get it off. Alright, we are back. So I have the tire removed. So the next thing you're going to want to do is to remove the two slide pins. There's one right there and one right there. They're both 17 millimeter. And that will allow you to pull off this top piece of the caliper. And then we can take off the bottom bracket of the caliper. After you get this piece off, you're going to want to get a bungee or something and hang it from there so that it's not hanging by the brake cord because you don't want to put a hole in that or snap it. So, I'm going to get these two bolts removed and we'll come back and go from there. Alright, I am back. Ooh, the chair's falling apart. Alright. So we have the two slides. I got them loose, so I was going to show you what you do. You just pull them out. You're going to want to clean these up because you're going to want to lube these when you put it back in. This is the slide that allows the middle piece to move. What happens is the caliper, there's a piston that pushes from this side and it pulls this side in. And so it pushes the piston pushes the pad on that side and when it pushes on that side it pulls this and has that pad on the other side so because of that a lot of times the inner pad wears a lot quicker so we'll remove our two slides and then you're gonna probably be a little bit difficult you're gonna want to get this off um, what helps is if you open the hood and remove the cap on the brake fluid reservoir. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to get this off and I'm going to use a bungee to hang it from up here so there's no stress on this cable and we'll come back after I get that all done and I'll show you what the next step is. So we have this middle piece off. I have it bungeed up to there and as you see there's no real stress or tension on that cable. While it's sitting up there now you're going to want to take some either WD-40 or PB Blaster or whatever and it's a good idea to spray around this piston here so it'll be easier to move back in and work better for your brakes. Also you're going to want to take the time and clean everything up while you're in here but we will get to that next. So next what we want to remove is this bracket and I believe that is also a 17 millimeter it may be 18 let's see here nope it's 18 so you're gonna want to take off this bolt here and this one down here and then this whole bracket will just pop right off so I'm gonna get that off and I'll come back and we'll go from there all right I'm back so I have these two bolts removed they were a little bit of pain in the butt to get out but we got them. So next, what you're going to want to do is just take off this bracket here. Your brake pads go in there. Uh, you're going to want to clean this up. Take these slides out here. And put in the new ones. And you're going to also want to clean out where the slides went. Get all that old grease out and put in new grease there. So I'm also going to sand this bracket up and maybe paint it. 
I'm not sure yet. So, after you get that off, next, what you're going to want to do is get the rotor off. It might be pretty hard and stuck on there. What you can do is you can take a five pound sledgehammer and just kind of hit around it a few times. If you're real lucky, it'll just pop off. If not, there are bolt holes here for a puller. So I'm gonna just try banging on it here for a little while. So I'm gonna come back and I'll let you know if I got it off that way or if we have to go to some more heavy duty tools. All right, and we are back. So after banging on it for a while, it came off nice and easy. And as you can see, the back here is definitely, definitely shot. So, we got off the old rotor. So that's pretty much all the hard part. So next, what you're going to want to do while you're in here is take the time, check everything out, make sure it's nice. Make sure your CV boots are okay and everything. That one's actually looking pretty wore out. So may need to be replaced pretty soon. So next I'm going to clean everything up and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to put on the new stuff. Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. We are back. So what our next step is after getting everything kind of cleaned up is we need to push back the piston in the caliper. And for that you need a brake press tool which is pretty cool I will show you how to use it first this piece here goes on the end they have a bunch of different pieces some slide in there so that they can turn because some of the calipers turn the piston turns when it comes out this one just goes pushes straight back so you put that in there and then this metal plate sits up against there and it pushes Slide it on like this, and then you put it in there, put the plate there, and then you tighten this up, and it'll push it back. So I'm gonna get it in there, get it kind of tightened up, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, we are back. So. I'm going to turn it. And as you can see, it's pushing the piston back in. This one's nice and easy, so we know it's nothing's wrong with it. Sometimes they can be hung up or be really, really hard. So, also when you're doing this, make sure you have the top on the brake fluid reserve under the hood. <clears throat> all right, after we get that all pushed back, next what we're gonna do is have it all ready for the new pieces. So we'll add, put the rotor on, and then we're gonna add and put on the caliper bracket, and then put on the new brake pads and the new or the old caliper over it so it squeezes on it so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back with the new brake caliper and brake pads and we'll continue from there all right I am back so we have the new rotor you're gonna want to put on slide it on there we go. Looks real nice. We're using some Bosch Quiet Cast rotors and brake pads. So after you get that part on, what you're going to want to do is take out the old slides from your brake caliper mount and put in the new ones. And you're going to want to put some of the synthetic brake grease on in these slides here. 
And you're going to also want to take the two slides that you removed in the beginning when you took off this top part here. So you're going to want to put some grease in there and grease them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease up these slides and put the new brake pads in. Here's the new brake pads. Bosch Quiet Cast. So we'll put those in and then we'll make sure that they're not on real tight and we'll put it over here and then put in the two bolts in the back. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back after I get that greased up and the pads in there and then I'll show you how to slide it on. Alright, so I have it greased up with some brake grease. It's probably a little too much. I'm going to use a rag and get some of it off. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like here before we put it on and then what you're going to do is just take it like this slide it over the rotor like so and then attach your two bolts in the back so I'm going to get those two bolts tightened up and then I will come back alright we have those two bolts tightened up so next what you're going to do is take the caliper itself up here you're going to remove your tool that you use to push back the piston. Right. We got that out of the way. So then you're going to unbungee it. Be careful about the brake cord. And then you're just going to slide it right down on over the brake pads. Be careful to push these rubber boots back so you don't mess them up. There's one down here as well. Alright, and then next you're going to want to grease up your slides and put them in and get that tightened up. So once I get that all done, I'll come back and we'll finish everything up. All right, we got that all tightened up. So next what you're gonna wanna do is put on the cap for your brake fluid reservoir and go and pump the brakes a few times till they get stiff so that that piston can come out and push so you have brakes. Otherwise, when you first go use the brakes, you won't have anything to stop. So after that, all you gotta do is put on the tire and you're good to go. So. I hope this helped you out if you were wondering how to change the brakes and rotor on a 2003 Suzuki Grand Vitara XL7. Uh, in the comments below, let me know if it helped you out. Hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out. I'll see you guys later.